The Liberty University men's volleyball team recently hosted the ECVA South Play Date, which started conference play for the team. The Flames saw great success by having a 5-0 record. This was ultimately an opportunity for Liberty to see where they could be potentially seated for the rest of the spring season. Yeah, we had our ECVA South play date here this weekend, so it was the first date of conference play for our D1 and D2 teams. We had seven D1 teams and nine D2 teams that did like a pool play into gold, silver, and bronze brackets to kind of work on seeding for the championships and get our feet wet for the season. We had our first uh, round of East Coast Volleyball this uh, weekend. It was a lot of fun. Uh, we played really well. Uh, some little things we need to work on, but uh, overall it was a great showing for all of us. We had a lot of fun. It was a very successful weekend. This tournament this past weekend was really good like uh, opening up for us. It's our first time kind of playing together as a full A-team, um, and we really just kind of showed ourselves, our true selves. Um, we've been like struggling in practice recently in the Valley. We really came out, to, uh, came out and just accomplished what we wanted to. We ended up winning every, or every game, every set. Um, it just kind of saw our potential. We passed really well, hit really well, and just came together as a team. The Flames were luckily able to start their season with out-of-conference play to see where they were and to gauge what needs to be worked on. We beat Virginia Tech, which was really nice, so we were really happy about that. But uh, we realized that this is just the beginning of the season. It's a long season. There's a lot more tournaments we're going to play in, and we're going to be seeing Virginia Tech and the other teams a lot more. So we just got to keep up this intensity in practice and this intensity in games and just keep it going. It was a really successful showing. It was a great way to show that we have some confidence when we play, a great way to uh, uh, show that we can really defend uh, our title from last year. Um, it was a lot of fun. The teams were, teams were really good. Teams, it was a great competition out there. Virginia Tech did a good showing, but in the end it was a, you know, it came off victorious in that one. One big aspect first-year head coach Caleb Vandeperry makes his team focus on is not being complacent. This team has set some great goals throughout their spring season, two of which are to end their season as the top team and to become a national champion. It's so easy to get complacent out there, um, but I think we just have a great group of guys who want to compete, and we just have to take every single practice, every single day as competition, and just realize that, like, not take this for granted, because this is a great opportunity we get to keep playing volleyball, and we've only got a few years left of it, so I think we all, as a group of guys, just have to want to compete and want to do our best, so every day just make it a competition. Well, the rankings just came out today and we were ranked third in the nation, so that's a nice feeling and you want to pat yourself on the back, but at the same time, that's not the number one spot and the rankings don't really mean anything at this point. So we just, we're not going to get complacent. The, the team is hungry, we're hungry, so we just got to go day by day. You can't look forward to Nationals already, like, yeah, we're excited for it, but we got to take it tournament by tournament, game by game, and then eventually when we get there, we're going to show up. That's what we're talking about a lot right now is just complacency is not going to end in the season that we are aiming for so just kind of getting back in the gym and working on the things that we still struggle with um, we're still a young team so there's a lot of you know let's see if we can do what we did again and if we can replicate what we've done two three four times then it means that we're actually performing and know what we're doing as opposed to like playing well some days and playing not as well other days so uh, that's the big that's the big message is it's great to be ranked high and come off a great weekend, but if we take too much time celebrating it, someone else is going to take our spot, so we'll celebrate at the end of the season.